So this piece is called After the Burn, and um, it came to me quite by surprise. I went up to um, the Boundary Waters Canoe Base, and I think it was about 2011, um, sometime after the uh, Ham Lake fire, and I, I wasn't really aware of the effects of the Ham Lake fire, but it uh, was followed, uh, pre it was preceded by the, the big blowdown between Ely and um, Grand Marais. Um, millions of acres of trees were blown down. They sat and dried for years and then all of a sudden caught fire. And so this piece was uh, painted after the fire. And it was striking to me because I had been there maybe 40 or 30 years ago. I don't want to age myself, but in college, uh, we used to go, my family would go to the Boundary Waters Canoe Base for Christmas and spend it with the director. And I remembered virgin trees, cabins. Um, when I got there this time, there was nothing. The cabins were burned, the trees were burned, and it was just such a stark landscape compared to what I remembered. So I started working on this piece as a way to just memorialize it for myself. And then I, then I realized that I was painting the tree structures without all the foliage. And that helped me understand sort of what is going on in the in different tree forms throughout uh, the northern woods, like um, this piece. Um, you don't see a lot of heavy uh, branch foliage. And in some ways that's exaggerated, but I was using the information that I got from this piece about the forest structure. And so in a piece like this, I was trying to envision, well, this is from a place called Palisades, um, off of the Gunflint Trail, very high location. And I basically created this vista in the back of these trees. So it's sort of a, a, a mental collage, if you will. Um, there were some other small pieces from the Boundary Waters Canoe Base as well that I painted. I was trying to keep the paintings fairly loose, um, working with paint materials as much as image. In all of my work, I, I'm both interested in media as well as in the final image. And to me, it's not, it's not so much about capturing an accurate uh, scene as much as making a painting that people are going to be interested in looking at when they're up close to it.